word of God in the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your children and enkindle in them the fire of your love. The School of Wisdom. The School of Wisdom is the topic of the short reflection today. Remember we said yesterday that we shall be picking the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit one after the other. Yesterday we did we talked about knowledge. Today we're talking about wisdom. With the caption of the school of wisdom. There are many things to be said about wisdom, very many things, but we won't go to we won't go about saying them. We will mention only very few. In the school of wisdom. The teacher himself, or the teacher herself, is wisdom. Wisdom is the teacher in that school. The student being taught is me, myself, yourself. The instrument of teaching the syllabus <laughs> is the word of God. Word of God. The word of God. The modus. Modus docendi. Mode of teaching. Or the method of teaching it. Is early in the morning, waking up early in the morning, trying to know the Word of God, and then, in the night, when about to sleep, also catching a glimpse of the Word of God. But if one must be, a, must be, a, must be missed, it doesn't have to be that of the morning, morning. Why? So we've talked about the teacher, the student, the instrument is the word, and then the modus is what we are teaching now. We've got to see some few passages about wisdom. Especially if you've got your Bible, see Sirach, the book of Sirach. See chapter 4, and also see chapter 6. And also we shall see the book of wisdom chapter 6 but let's just read few things few lines of what wisdom said of herself in the book of Sirach first let's see chapter 4 in Sirach chapter 4 precisely from verse 12 the word says whoever loves wisdom loves life who wakes up in the morning in search of wisdom will be filled with joy who possesses wisdom will have glory let me jump some passages verse 17 but first of all Wisdom will take that person who searches after her through rigorous ways. He will, she will put fear inside him or her. She will torment him or her with her discipline to know if she could confide in him or her. And finally, she will redirect him or her to the easy path. And then show him or her her secrets. So in this passage, it says, the one who wakes up very early in the morning to search for wisdom. And then said, how wisdom will do it? First, wisdom will try to take 
that person the rough ways to know if she could confide in the person and then after manifest herself to that person in full. Now let's also see chapter 6 of the, of the same Sirach. Chapter 6 of the same Sirach would say, precisely verse 37 would say, Meditate on the word of the Lord. Meditate always on his law, on his word. And then he will make your heart so strong. And the wisdom you are searching for will be given you. Are these not beautiful? They are beautiful. Also, if you see, I may not go about bringing that to, to read it out. First Psalm, the Psalm 1, Psalm 1, the first Psalm, Psalm 1, precisely from verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, it would say, whoever wakes up early in the morning to meditate on the word of God and then at the end of the day, such a person will be filled with so much joy and so much wisdom and so much happiness. And then it ended up and said, what touches me always when I read it, it said, whatever he does will be successful. Whatever he does will be successful. <laughs> These are from the mouth of wisdom herself because the fount of wisdom is the word of God. Well, let's leave this at this moment because of time. The last thing we will say about wisdom, the fifth is the seed of wisdom, sedes sapientia. What do we mean by sedes sapientia? Seed of wisdom, by seed of wisdom we mean is there a human being in whom we will find the fullness of wisdom? The fullness of wisdom, a human being we are talking about, we are not talking about God, a human person. Where wisdom was fully manifested. Yes, there is. She is that one the church calls Sedes Sapiensia, Mother Mary. She is that first one, the first student that passed through that school of wisdom and didn't just make first class, made hundred, over hundred. So in her is the fullness of wisdom. Usually when we enter school, the first things we do is to ask the, if you are in year one, you ask those in year two, how does this teacher teach? How do, do you write his or her exam? They will give you some explanations of how to deal with it. That is also what we can do with the one called Sedes Sapiensia. If you want to be full of wisdom, let us not go to the altar of wisdom without that one who was the first student that made an A, an exceptional A, 100 over 100. Without asking her to help us, we are searching for wisdom. Come and help us, O oh, Mother Mary, Mother of Wisdom. That is about the school of wisdom. The teacher is wisdom herself, the Holy Spirit. The student is myself, yourself. The instrument of teaching is the Word of God. The modus docendi mode of teaching is early in the morning and late in the evening. And the sedes sapientia is Mother Mary. Benedetto say to Signora Dio, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this bread to offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the means of this one, what?